Hello friends and welcome to Hearthstone. The Grand Tournament expansion just came out about a day ago now. I uh, pre-purchased the 50 packs. So they're sitting here ready to open. Thought, hey, maybe I'll just record it. Maybe it'll help me have a little luck. See if we can pull anything good. If, um, if you haven't played the new expansion yet, of course we had a little bit of a preview with last week's Tavern Brawl. Um, I really like the way the cards played. Now, I'm nowhere near, you know, like a hardcore Hearthstone player. Very casual. Never gotten ranked higher than, like, the mid-teens or anything like that. But I did really enjoy the way that the two decks they had in the Tavern Brawl, the way they played. I thought they were very interesting and very fun. So, figured, what the hell. Let's get some packs. Maybe get into this game a little bit more. Because they, they were definitely unique play styles. I think it'll really mix things up. So let's get it going. Let's see what we can get. All right. Pack number one. Seal of Champions. Not bad. Oh, we got a rare. Shady Dealer. It's just a pirate. Or if you have a pirate. Gains 1-1. One, one. Not bad. Fire Lance. That I've seen before. 5-4 taunt for 4 mana, not bad. Alright. We'll probably blast through most of these. So obviously, we're looking for legendaries. Epic. Epic, very nice. Astral Communion. Gain 10 mana crystals. Discard your hand, wow. Man. That could be very interesting. Master Jouster. Not Man. bad. Now that's one of the new types here where it does um, the reveal of meaning in each deck if it costs more than your opponent's card, it will gain a bonus. I think that is very interesting, very cool, could be really powerful, could turn out not to be so much, but we'll see. I think the uh, Inspire decks will be very, very powerful. Hopefully we'll get some of those cards as well. Not bad. Oh. Any random totem. That could be good. Shaman is the class that I typically play, so I'm definitely interested to see that. Some peels. Always good. Got a rare. Armored War Horse. Not bad. Brave Archer. There's an Inspire card. If your hand is empty, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Okay, yeah, not bad for a one mana drop. Alex Straws is champion. Cool. I saw another Inspire card there too. The Lonely, I think it was Lonely Squire or something like that. I'm really hoping to see a lot of those because I'd like to build a whole deck around the uh, the Inspire feature. And the way, um, if you did that Tavern Brawl, you could, uh, you could, with the Mage, there was a card that would let you do your hero power as many times as you wanted. I think that could be wickedly, wickedly power powerful with the Inspire deck. Burgle. Hmm. Cool. Rogue. Not really a class I play, but... Could be, uh, could be changing with some of these cool cards. Hmm, competitive spirit. It's a secret. Yeah. Very cool. I'd like to see, uh, new secrets. Oh, double epic. Here we go. That's better. 
Elemental destruction. Four to five damage to all minions? Wow. That's a massive overload, though. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Magnetar Alpha also damages the minions next to whomever he attacks. Ooh. Could be very good. I like cards that kind of force you to have to pay attention to the order. We got something here. Yeah. Did the, you place your minions on the board? You know, things that give bonuses and whatnot to the adjacent ones. Man. Void Crusher, Wormrest Agent. Not bad. Nasus, a spirit. Huh, okay, gain an empty empty mana crystal. One of those, I believe they're called Ramp Druid cards. Whoa, boy, here we go. Golden Ball of Spiders. Cool. Copy your opponent's hero power. Huh. I wonder if it replaces your hero power? Not sure. Have to see how that works. Alright. Let's blast through some of these. Golden. Hey, another golden clockwork knight. Friendly mech plus one plus one. Could definitely be useful. With a lot of the goblins versus gnome cards. Always take those. Man. Oh, again, Wind Fury for an Inspire. Very cool. We're 20 down. No legendaries. Starting to get a little nervous. Poisoned Blade. Hero power gives this weapon plus one attack instead of replacing it. Oh. Could be good. I wonder if you could stack that. I'm guessing, I'm guessing so. Do you hero powered a few turns in a row? Get it up to like a plus three or plus four? Man. Man. All right. Try and put a little pause here in between decks just in case you really want to inspect these cards. You can. Obviously. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Gormok the Impaler. If you have at least four other minions, deal four damage. Four, four, and a four mana drop. Alright. Good deal. At least we got one. It's not a, it's not a total loss either way. I'm happy. Like I was saying, I'll have to definitely go through the the collection afterwards and really take a look at all these. Another legendary, very good. Ronin. Death Rattle, I had three more copies of Arcane Missiles to your hand. Ooh, I like that. I think that will be going straight into a mage deck.
Very cool. All right. We're getting happy now. We're getting happy. Another golden common. Warhorse trainer. Definitely gonna have to do some more paladin playing as well. I pretty much only played mage and shaman, really. A little bit of hunter as well. I've pretty much stuck with those two. Just because with the cards I did have, it seemed to be the best decks I could build. Oh, another epic, Grand Crusader. Okay. More Shaman Overload cards, I'll take it. Enter the Colosseum. Destroy all minions except each player's highest attack minion. Huh. Interesting. Could be fun. There's going to be a lot of new possibilities out there. It's going to be fun playing constructed decks for a while. Polymorph Boar. Transform a minion into a 4-2 boar with charge. It's nice. A, um... Uh, Beneficial polymorph, I guess is what I'd say. It's cool. Not bad. Should be able to get plenty of dust from this as well. Maybe be able to create a legendary or or two, because I do have a bit of dust saved up already. We'll have to see which ones we really like. Oh, a golden rare! Convert! Put a copy of an enemy minion into your hand. Okay. That's pretty sweet for two mana. Garrison Commander. You can use your hero power twice this turn. There we go. Very cool. All right. Down to ten more. What will we get? Yep, nothing really that time. We'll swipe them around a little bit from here on. Maybe give us a little more luck. Come on, cards. I won't complain with two legendaries. But you always want more. Come on. You know you can do it. Come on, Blizzard. Help a brother out. Healing wave. Good. Come on. Let's do it. Get us one. Come on. Well, I've seen a lot of those Dragonhawk, uh, Dragonhawk Riders. Well, epic at least. Arcane Blast. Yeah. Could be... Could be good. Come on, four to go. Come on now. Lowly Squire. 
Dark Bargain. Destroy two random enemy minions. Discard two random cards, huh? For six mana? Hmm. Could be good. Anything with random properties never seems to work out for me, though. Alright, here we go. Last one. Will we get lucky? Come on. You're the one, right? You are the one. Golden yep, a golden. Well, all in all, not too bad. A lot of new, interesting, interesting playstyles. I think we'll see. I know. I'm pretty excited about it, so. Hopefully, this will help some people out. Get to look at the new cards. Gonna have to, you know, spend money to get most of them. Of course, you know, I mean, you can get these as free to play, but if you're like me, you don't play quite enough to really build a deck based on the free to play model, but hey, nothing wrong with spending a little money on a game you play most days, most every day. You know, play a couple games, do the daily quests. I don't mind spending a little bit of money on something like that. Nice and ongoing. A lot of development for, so... Hey, we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna go put some decks together. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Maybe I'll record uh, a couple games with some constructed de uh, decks here soon. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye.